H5 CKD are taking 6 grams a day to avoid dialysis for 8 years. There are 5 ways patients with stage 5 chronic kidney disease are avoiding dialysis. Today we will see what they are. My name is Catherine and I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for 10 years now. Here on Double O Kidney, my main focus are natural remedies and treatments to avoid ending up in dialysis. What we are going to see today is different. Unfortunately, we all know how rare it is to diagnose CKD in time. For many patients, the diagnosis comes too late to be able to preserve what kidney function is left. So today's video we will answer a very important question. Are there natural ways to actually replace dialysis when the patient is already in stage 5? And the answer will surprise you! Don't miss our number one in particular because that's the remedy that has been used in several stage 5 patients who were then able to avoid dialysis for 8 years or more. And today, we are also going to see remedies that are useful for every single kidney disease patient, no matter the stage. Let's start with a natural remedy that has been used with success as a part of a clinical trial on stage 5 CKD patients. Number 5. Activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is a popular detoxifier. People use it every day in small dosages as a home remedy against bloating, gas, diarrhea, and also to get their teeth whiter. Emergency room doctors, on the other hand, use it to treat overdoses and poisoning. All this is possible because activated charcoal is extremely good at binding to toxins in the digestive system and removing them, especially uremic toxins, the waste products kidneys cannot remove. Inactivated charcoal works so well at removing these toxins that there is a study conducted on stage 5 patients who refused to start dialysis and decided to be trialed with this remedy instead. Let's take a look at this study because what they found out is really amazing. In the study, patients with kidney disease stage 5 were administered 30 grams of activated charcoal per day. Basically, this treatment was able not just to prolong the life of their kidneys but to improve their function. The treatment was so effective that all of them had a significant decrease in blood urea and creatinine levels. This is a study published on a respectable peer-reviewed paper, as we can see. Researchers believe that activated charcoal is especially effective at removing toxins derived from urea, uremic toxins, and phosphorus. Uremia, excess of uremic toxins in particular, is the cause of most symptoms associated with stage 4 and 5 of kidney disease and it's basically the reason why people end up in dialysis. Activated charcoal definitely works against symptoms of CKD at the point that it was also used in stage 3 and 4 patients to slow down the progression of the disease. However, researchers thought that this remedy worked a little bit too much. The problem with activated charcoal is that it binds to and removes everything it comes in contact with, vitamins and essential nutrients included. Researchers then comes up with a solution, which is basically a magic pill that doctors are already prescribing to delay and sometimes avoid dialysis in people suffering from kidney disease in stage 4 and 5. Number 4. AST 120 AST 120 is a medication approved in Japan and other countries to fight CKD. It is actually an evolutionary step forward from activated charcoal because it's lab made to only bind to uremic toxins. And this means that patients only have to take 3 to 6 grams of it per day for it to work, which is around one tenth of the activated charcoal patients use to avoid dialysis. So the question is, can we actually use AS120 to avoid dialysis? 
AST-120 is confirmed by several studies to be extremely effective in protecting renal function. In particular, a large review of studies published very recently states that the serum creatinine slope was significantly lessened in patients treated with tailored dose AST-120. The researchers actually concluded that AST-120 6 grams per day appears to reduce composite renal outcomes and progression to end-stage renal disease. Which means that the kidney function of the patients treated with AS120 was preserved for way longer. Taking this medication means avoiding dialysis for years even in patients in the advanced stages. Stage 4 and 5 pre-dialysis patients had a significant improvement in kidney function in the short term. They also had their symptoms immediately alleviated when they started this prescription. They had less nausea, itching and bad breath in just 2 weeks. So yes, it's clear that it works as intended. But basically, there is still a controversy regarding this medication. While some countries have been using it for decades to delay dialysis for years in patients treated with it, other countries are still doubting its effectiveness, which means that you will only be able to get a prescription for it if you live in Japan, Korea, or in the Philippines. But this breakthrough study could also mean that many other countries will approve this medication now. But while AST120 is absolutely effective, it also comes with a serious limitation. It is not used to actually replace the dialysis, mainly to delay it. And it does a great job at that, as we have seen. But nonetheless, patients with a GFR lower than 15 are usually told prepare for dialysis even if they are taking this medicine. And the aim of today's video is to find actual treatment that can be used to avoid dialysis, not just to delay it. So let's take a look now at a type of therapy that's already used in certain countries in those patients that want to completely avoid dialysis despite having a GFR lower than 15. This treatment is based on the notion that uremia can be avoided by removing the toxins that cause it in the intestine. This is called, this is called number 3 intestinal dialysis. This kind of dialysis replacement has been used in China for a lot of years now and, well, it clearly can help. During intestinal dialysis, a smartly balanced solution is injected into the colon to flush out gut-derived toxins and persistent stool. So they are basically treating patients in need for dialysis without any actual dialysis. They just remove the toxins from the intestine. While this treatment is not common, there is evidence that removing these toxins from the intestine is a way to prevent uremia which, as we have seen, is what causes the symptoms of CKD. This kind of treatment is always coupled with conservative management and should only be performed by qualified medical personnel. Conservative management in kidney disease is a form of therapy used in those patients that need dialysis but don't want to receive it. Its goal is to manage other health problems caused by kidney failure such as anemia and symptoms such as nausea and tiredness while preserving kidney function for as long as possible. One of the most effective forms of conservative management for end-stage kidney disease is a diet that's also proven to slow down kidney disease in all the stages. This dietary approach, which is criminally underrated in the US, could literally prolong the life of your kidneys by 10 years or more if implemented correctly. I'm talking about number 2. VLPD. The VLPD or Very Low Protein Diet is a special diet for people with advanced kidney disease. But it's even more useful when the patient wants to avoid dialysis completely. The VLPD was a very important part of the treatment used in the stage 5 CKD patients that were able to survive for years without dialysis thanks to activated charcoal. Now, the biggest advantage of the VLPD treatment compared to the other treatments of this video is that it has been used on thousands of CKD patients. And it's proven that it works 
both as a way of slowing down the decline of kidney function in people with stage 4 kidney disease and as a complementary therapy in stage 5 patients that want to avoid dialysis. The VLPD differs from standard low protein diets because it's extremely low in protein. And removing a nutrient almost completely means that malnutrition is an issue. But this diet really works. And today, the VLPD is the most common diet for CKD in Europe. So there is enough data today to be 100% sure that it works. I've made a video about it recently, it's up here if you want to know more. Time to see our number one now. This is a home remedy that can be purchased and used by anyone. It comes with several health benefits. It can help with diabetes, high cholesterol, weight loss, and high blood pressure, all according to several studies. This remedy is our number one because it was actually used in several stage five patients who wanted to avoid diagnosis with an amazing result. All of the test subjects were able to avoid dialysis thanks to this natural remedy for up to eight years. Number one is acacia fiber. Acacia fiber is the gum that's naturally exuded by the acacia tree. It's a 100% vegetable and natural non-genetically modified remedy which is often used as a food additive. The reason why acacia fiber is interesting to us is its ability to actually absorb uremic toxins in the intestines. When taken orally in therapeutic dosages, acacia fiber can effectively protect the kidneys and decrease uremic symptoms by acting as an intestinal form of dialysis. Guys, I have talked in depth about acacia fiber in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.